Shabbat Shalom and happy Sabbath day. Really quickly, I want to speak to you about how Christianity is from the enemy. I spoke about religion before and how no religion, all of the religions are man-made and come from Satan himself to cause division among the people and to separate us from the love of God. But right now, I want to speak specifically to the Christians who claim to follow Jesus, who claim to love Jesus, and who claim claim to be righteous or holy. I want you to know something. If you are calling yourselves a Christian, you have also separated yourself from the love of God because the Savior, the man you claim to love and follow is not a Christian, but he is a Jew. And you know he is a Jew, but you sit back and say that the Lord has forsaken the Jews and he made a new promise with the Gentiles. So you are saying that the the Lord has forsaken Jesus because he is a Jew. If the father has forsaken the Jews and made a new promise, you are saying that the Jewish man, the Jewish God that you follow is also forsaken. But that actually contradicts what the Bible says because Paul told you that God has not cast away his people. He told you that there was a remnant that has been selected according to the election of grace. So we know that the children of God or the Israelites were not cast away and were not forsaken. They are still a part of this promise because the promise is everlasting. That means it never ever ends. So they have an everlasting promise. So therefore, you know that you should also be a part of the family that Jesus comes through if you claim to love him and follow him. You are separating yourself from him by calling yourself a Christian and he is a Jew, which means if he is the body, if you are the body of Christ and Christ is the head and you are the body, that means the head of the body is a Jew and the body part of the body is Christian, which means that the body is divided, which means that house, the temple cannot stand. Jesus told you a house that is divided cannot stand. So if you are a Christian, that means that you are divided from the house, divided from your master, divided from Lord Jesus. It spoke about in the scriptures that people, you are not only a Jew if you are a born a Jew, but if you are a Jew inwardly. Paul talked about being a Jew inwardly. If you are a Jew by the spirit or in the spirit, you should be a Jew outside as well. Are you going to be a Jew inwardly and outwardly you're a Christian? Does that make any logical sense? When scripture talked about you putting your flesh under subjection, you controlling your flesh, your spirit controlling your flesh. So if your spirit is controlling your flesh or putting your flesh under subjection, that means you are, your flesh is whatever your spirit is. If your spirit is a Jew, that means you should also be a Jew. You're not thinking about that, which goes to prove that the Bible was only for the Jews. Because could you imagine a bunch of pink people running around talking about they, they are Jews when people know that they are are not Jews. You are not a Jew. You are what you are, a European. So the scripture was for the Jews in specific because we are the ones who inherited the promise. But we had our religion and heritage stripped away from us. So we did not know who we are. So when the word would find our children, the word would teach our children, you don't have to be considered a Jew to be a Jew. Be a Jew in inwardly because you are attached to me. And if someone asks you, well, why are you dressing or adorning yourself as a Jew? You will tell them because my God is a Jew, because my father, my Lord, he is a Jew. And if he is a Jew, then I am whatever he is because I am a part of his body. We are one. I am him. He said that he is in me and I am in him, which means that if he is a Jew, then I also have to be a Jew. 
So you should have been able to be a Jew or feel as you are the Jew that you are because Jesus told you that once you receive him into your heart, you become a part of him being the Jewish God that you also are because Jesus said ye are gods you are powerful the kingdom is within you he is the lord of lords but you would be the rulers of the earth with his power and by his spirits it had nothing to do with Christianity it had nothing to do with religion but it had everything to do with the spiritual beings who would be ruling this earth through power and through spirit and and through might, through Jesus Christ, the living God, who would be the everlasting king over Israel. And this is the word of the Lord. Shalom.